Hey, Radical fans, Phil here. Andrew here. We're going to talk today about the positive access points uh, on a bowling ball. For each person, it could be different based on how you let go of the ball, what your release is, and so on. Throwbot lent us his, and he's a half, four and a half over and a half up. As you can see, mine's a little, a little different. Mine's five over inch up. Uh, generally speaking, when you have your access, uh, or when you go to get your access, you have to go off that first player ring. Right. So you have to throw shots first. Throwbot's access was kind of given to him. We did. He, yeah. he, he asked us for it in an email. He oh, requested he did. that because okay. it was easy to remember. So that's the optimal ball roll. <laughs> so you're saying I'm off. You're, yeah, because you're not Throwbot. That's why I'm not your favorite. That's why you're not my well, favorite ball tester, Throwbot is. And, and the beauty is we'd have to buy Throwbot lunch. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. I'm, I like lunch. You had lunch. Which is nice. Right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, why is it important to have a PAP? It is. I think it's single-handedly one of the most important things when it comes to bowling balls. Yeah. You can have your bowling ball drilled all over the place, right? And without knowing that sure. little spot, right. this could all be wrong. Yeah, that, absolutely, absolutely. And um, yes, there are some generic layouts that generally work for a wide range of people. Sure. However, but if you, let's just look, put this into perspective, right? This pin for Throwbot is two inches the axis, right? If I put that same pin on my ball without knowing axis, I'm an inch further. Right. So what I think is a two inch pin is now three inches. A three inch pin, correct. Now let's use my axis for him. If you guys think you're testing with a, you know, uh, for me this is a five inch pin, four and three quarter ish in right. that range. Uh, for him it would be a four inch. Right. But if you think you're testing with four and three quarters, that's gonna make a huge difference. Sure it is. And we, and we get a lot of people call up and say, hey, my, I drew my ball and uh, my buddy threw it and it reacts for him and not for me. Well, you know what? Maybe his PAP is different from yours and it's in the right spot. So you have to really look at uh, the PAP for each person as an individual. A lot of PAPs are the same. Yeah. Four and a half over, half it's, up. It's I mean, similar. It's just, a lot yeah, of similar. Yeah. What you'll find is if you can get to a pro shop, get your access checked, drill your bowling balls off your access, right? right. That's why we give numbers to them. When you talk about drill angles, valve angles, all those Absolutely. numbers are very important to getting your bowling ball correct for correct. you. However, if you can't get to your local pro shop, you don't have one that close to you, and you want to just get a general idea, depending on how you throw the ball, you can have a pretty good idea of how you uh, or how far your access is. Yep. What you'll find is the higher the track, the closer to the thumb, the farther away it's going to be. Right. If you're close to the thumb, you're going to be in the five and a half to six range. If you're just an inch off the thumb, you're going to be in the four and a half to five range. Right. If you spin the ball, right, your track is down here on this low area, not going to be very far. It's going to be like two over, two up, right? So sure. how you flare on the ball is what matters. And, and also you can put a piece of tape on the side of the ball yep. and throw it and keep moving the tape until it locks you up. You technically it might could. Take you, take you a while. Well, that's how I did it, I mean, forever. You put tape on the side of the ball, you throw it, and you go, eh, and that's not in the right spot. Let's move it. There are faster ways. Go to your local pro shop, have it checked out. But it's more fun sometimes you do it by yourself. Look what I found. Yep. So anyhow, that was uh, one of the topics that were written in. We like it. We thank Throwbot for doing such a great job throwing our balls. We thank Andrew for throwing our balls as well, but uh, it's a little cheaper for Throwbot to do it. Anyway, I'm teasing Andrew. Um, <laughs> thanks for writing in on the topic, and we, we enjoy doing them, and we'll talk to you soon. Keep sending those comments in, guys. Thanks. <laughs>